Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Oh, 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 you're dead. Hey, guys. I'm right over here, and today we're playing some more Out of Worlds. I'm hyped. I'm ready, so let's just jump right into it. I'm gonna play on normal Supernova. I'm coming for you later. Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations. A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. I like how they're showing us this through the security cameras. <laughs> Phineas Vernon Wells, fugitive wanted by Halcyon Holding Board for Crimes Against Colony. Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Okay, so here we go. We're starting the customization bit, so. All right. gonna make that good I mainly want to focus I want to be that um I want to be that um I want to be that uh cocky sort of like a cocky smug like gunslinger so I'm gonna be focusing on handguns okay so here it is all right my character all right. Yep, handguns is most definitely the priority. So yeah, she she's she's gonna be that smooth talking uh, gunslinger. As you can tell her handgun is at thirty. If you go down, uh, her things are not as high as some others, but I'm gonna be focusing on that. She also has inspiration. I just guess we're gonna have to encounter any companions in the future. So yeah. And this is this is what she looks like. I kind of want to change the eye color a little bit. It's sort of bugging me. Yeah, I'll take that. This seems pretty dope. Let me just change the hair color real quick, and then we'll be off. Perfect. Her name's Rory, by the way. So yeah, Rory, beautiful. Now let's see what my creation's gonna be. I mean, okay. So looking at all these, I I feel I, I feel pretty confident. I feel pretty confident in this character right now. So I think I'm ready. Yep, I love to start this game with this character. I'm ready. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Please power down your engines. Have to be Not likely, bootlickers. 
street liquors. Initiate skip jump. It was especially hilarious with those, like, constant ah, button there pressing. You are. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, <laughs> not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! <laughs> Here it goes. Here it goes. <laughs> this thing working ah there you are now uh, where were we oh yes a smuggler his name is Hawthorne and he should be waiting for you at the landing site he's to be your uh, chauffeur so to speak not to worry I'm told he's a specialist dashing gunslinger one of a kind ship that sort of thing you'll like him I'm sure I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress I'll check in with you as soon as you land Good luck. I'm all the colonists are counting on you. We're going down. Oh boy. Very uh hard landing there. should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? <laughs> oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Yeah. <laughs> Cripes. Look at this, though. Man. Or just let me, like, look at the environment real quick. Golly. Look at the skies. The trees, the, the wildlife. Looks amazing. Okay. Ooh, look at that thing. It looks so adorable. Can I keep you? Oh, okay. Underneath. Liking this game already. Okay, I can sprint. 
What's that? Like a tower? Did I go in there? Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Oh, oh. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> okay, your, your legs are missing from your body. Okay. Shit. Oh, crap. Okay, I'm guessing those ate his legs. Let's not have the same fate, shall we? Okay, so right now I'm guessing they're unaware. Oh, 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 that's suspicion. Oh, so do I like have to be behind the, be behind the grass? Like if I'm not behind the grass, will they just instantly spot me? Okay. So that means I have to go to the grass very quickly then. Because I'm guessing if I just stay right out here, even if I'm crouched, it, yeah, it will get suspicious. Okay. That's good to know. I mean, I'm not going to be stealthy in this uh, playthrough. I'm more of a gunslinger, so. Oh! Oh boy! Oh, you see now, you've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. So those things are called splats. I saw the name. Like how to? Can I make it spawn again? Okay. Well, the splats. Okay, that's good to know. Man, the splats look so adorable. I ain't gonna lie. I can't wait to see more of the, uh, ow! <laughs> okay, fall damage is a thing. Gotcha. But yeah, what I'm, I was saying, I can't wait to see more of the wildlife once we start going to different places. Hey, you. Oh, hey, sir. You've tried the best now. <laughs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. Don't worry there. I'll patch you up. Patch you up real nice. Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Hmm. How are you feeling? Out there, you know that wound better thanks to you i might have bled out on my own or worse had to go begging the boss for some madrina time we were out on patrol i saw a marauder camp up in the hills thought i could take him ah. then my gun misfired right through my side i mean what are the odds of that right just mm. barely scraped by with my life crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters What about marauders? What's this about marauders? <laughs> Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. Some whole head good combo. The spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Yeah, but what if more come after the explosion? Then you're screwed. Well, you know... Never mind that, never mind that. <laughs> anyway, I got a better idea, you see. See, my plan might be a good plan, unlike your plan, which was completely trash. So how about this? You give me your gun, and I'll go get help. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare exactly. ammo. Exactly. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, <laughs> you can have my saber, too, for patching me up and all. All Spacer's Choice weapons that. are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, <laughs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Yes, this is now good. the time. 30% chance that that it won't malfunction? Like, that's a pretty still low, low, a very low percentage. Can you tell me where I am, by the way? You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. Ah, no thanks, you're not a fan of tuna. I'm guessing it's referring to fish. I don't really like fish. In case none of you guys knew about that. About me, I don't like fish. Anyway, do you know anything about the hope? The hope? Is that some sort of yeah, fancy new drug? 
Are you with Auntie Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. Hmm. So the spacer's choice is a corporate sort of faction, I'm assuming. All right, I'm off to deal with these marauders. Okay, let's see what you have in here. Ah, this must be the uh, logo for Spacer's Choice. Okay. Damn it, my ears! Ugh. Oh, <laughs> what just happened? Can you hear me? What in the hell? This 